Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining this morning. Good morning. Hmm. We'll get started in just another minute or so. But thank you for joining me this Saturday. The birds are chirping and it's nice out. Um, so I hope that after we have our time together that you're able to get out there and enjoy the day. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hmm. Hey Jenna, good morning. Hey Sarah, good morning. Hmm. We'll get started soon. Hmm. So, um, while we're waiting to get started, if you haven't already, just go ahead and find a comfortable seat. Um, if you want to sit on the floor, if that's accessible to you, please do. You can sit on a, uh, a pillow, a meditation cushion, a bolster. If you have something like this, like a throw pillow on your couch, you can sit on that. Um, in addition, you can just sit in a chair. If the floor is not accessible, then you can sit in a chair. You can sit on your couch or your sofa. Um, but just someplace where you can start to feel um, rooted down into the earth, just connected. And... Um, well, you know, we'll go ahead and get started too, you know, so, so again, everyone, my name's Jojo. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I'm a yoga teacher and a meditation teacher here in Nashville. I'm also an Ayurvedic counselor and I, um, I teach at Yoga Soul as well. Um, I usually teach the 9.30 a.m. Bhakti Soul Flow class on Saturdays today. Um, but um, for now, I'm just good. I've been leading this uh, morning meditation. Uh, I think now I'm just I'm finishing up week two of leading meditation with you with you all every morning. Um, so thank you all for joining me. It's free, and um, I, I am accepting donations. If you're following uh, Yoga Soul, then you'll see my my Venmo information. But if you go on my um, my Instagram, which is at Yogi Basis. Um, you'll also see some other options for payment as far as my PayPal and my, um, my cash app, if you use that. <laughs> so, so donations are appreciated. They're not necessarily, um, needed or they're not, they're not required, but, uh, they definitely help right now. And, um, so if you are willing, then that's, that would be sweet. <laughs> other than that, uh, we will, we'll find our way into our practice. So. If you haven't, again, finding that comfortable seat on the floor, on your couch, in a chair, anywhere that feels good for you, and just start to let the tailbone and the sit bones start to ground. And also, just a word of caution, I do have a dog. He's a little fluffy Maltese named Casey, and um, he, might, he might bark, but he might just be quiet. Casey, why don't you go to your basket, actually? I'm talking to my dog. <laughs> All right, so... Finding that seat and just letting the tailbone and the sit bones, letting the tailbone and sit bones start to ground down. And starting to imagine yourself like a flower bulb. And the tailbone and the sit bones and the sacrum are a flower bulb deep under the earth in the soil anchored down and rooted. And that's the hips. And from that flower bulb that's rooted under the soil, its stem starts to emerge and push up and out from the surface of the earth to start to emerge into the sun. And that stem of the flower bulb, it's like your spine growing up and out from the root of the tailbone and the sacrum, starting to grow tall and long. And as that flower stem grows up toward the sun, at the tip of the flower stem opens up a flower blossom, a beautiful spring blossom, maybe a tulip, a daffodil, a crocus. 
Imagine the crown of your head is like that flower blossom opening up to receive the abundance of the world around you, to receive the wisdom of the world around you, and to connect, to yoke with all that is. And just take a moment and notice what that image, what sort of sensations that brings into the body, what sort of sensations or thoughts does it bring, emotions, the quality of the mind, just learn to notice. Just like that spring flower gently swaying in the breeze, just start to make some circles with your torso. Maybe swing it side to side to start. Maybe swing forward and backward. And then starting to circle out the torso. It's making some Sufi circles. It's starting to wake up the spine a little bit, wake up the body. And then switching directions, rolling out the other way. And coming back to stillness, we start to make some circles with the shoulders. And then lightly squeeze the shoulder blades together as you pull them behind you. Exploring all the movement of the shoulder blades, feeling them kind of gliding along the back of the rib cage. And then switching directions, roll out the shoulders the other way. And then releasing those circles. Let's make some figure eight, some infinity loops with the shoulders. Just feeling the fluidity of the spine. Again, noticing the shoulder blades gliding along the back of the rib cage. And then switch directions of those infinity loops, those figure eight circles. And then releasing those figure eight. Let's just pump the shoulders. And then let it go. Just take a moment and notice. And letting the chin lower to chest with an Inhale, roll your right ear to your right shoulder, stretching out the left side neck. And then exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear to the left shoulder, stretching the left side neck. And exhale, chin to chest. And just keep going, doing that a few more times, stretching the left side neck, stretching the right side neck. Take one more round on each side. And no rush whenever you finish your last round on each side. Let the chin come back to chest. And slowly with an inhale, lifting the head. do an easy breathing practice this week. Um, we've been exploring what's called Samdriti Pranayama, or it's uh, equal distance breathing, often times called uh, square breath. Um, it's the square breath because there's four parts to the breath. There's the inhale, there's the top of the inhale, that space just before it turns into the exhale. There's the exhale, and there's the bottom of the ex exhale, that space just before it turns into the inhale. So we're gonna explore those four portions of the breath. Um, we're going to use a four count um, on the inhale, on a t retention at the top of the inhale, the exhale, the retention at the bottom of the exhale. So that being said, since we're going to be holding the breath, the top and the bottom of the breath, if you feel any sort of um, uncomfortable feelings while retaining the breath, any anxiety, any sort of just anything that feels not right, then you can just omit the 
um, retention of the breath and just keep equal distance on inhale and exhale. Maybe just observing a little pause between the breath, just to notice those spaces. Um, if we're gonna take seven rounds total, I'll guide the first three rounds and then you'll take the last four rounds on your own. Um, if you mess up the pattern for any reason, it's okay. Sorry, my video froze, I apologize for that. So yeah, so um, as I was saying, if you mess up the, uh, the, the pattern, it's okay. Just get back into it whenever you can. And um, when you finish the technique, you can just release the technique and just observe. So again, we're gonna do seven rounds. I'll start the first three rounds together and then you'll take the last four rounds on your own. Letting your hands rest on your knees if you'd like, palms can face up or down. If you'd like to take a hand mudra, then what you can do is you can use what's called chin mudra, which is like an okay symbol. The palm's gonna face down on the knees, and that's gonna be a little more grounding. If you want, um, you can take what's called yan mudra, which is again this okay symbol, but the palm's gonna face up, and that's gonna be a little more receiving. In addition, you can take what's called prana mudra, which is gonna be the middle and index fingers together on both hands, the palms will face up, and the hands will rest on the knees. So preparing your hands, preparing your body. Let's all take a big inhale. And then open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Let the mouth close and we'll begin. Inhale to the nostrils. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. One, hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Inhale, take the next four rounds on your own. And when you finish, just release the technique and observe. And whenever you finish your last round, you can release the technique and just start to notice its effects, noticing what has changed or shifted, and notice what's changeless or constant. And then starting to turn that awareness deep within. Starting to connect to that profound, subtle inner awareness. The eyes can close, or if the eyes are open, you can just start to have a soft gaze at the tip of the nose or the space between the eyebrows. Turning the attention inward. And as we turn the attention inward, if at any point during our meditation, the mind starts to wander, it's okay. Just offer yourself compassion, stay curious and return to the practice when you're ready.
start to direct that deep, profound inner awareness. Start to direct your awareness to the spiritual heart center. At the very center of the chest, the space behind the breastbone. Turning the attention to the spiritual heart center, the very center of the chest and holding your inner awareness at that space, the seat of the soul. And as you <clears throat> hold the attention at the spiritual heart center, start to listen in to the messages of your deepest heart's desires. Listening in to your highest and truest heart's desires. And as you Listen in and connect to your highest and truest heart's desires. Allow those desires to start to formulate and distill into a single word. And that single word is called the Bija Sankalpa, the seed of intention. Start to mentally repeat that seed of intention to yourself mentally repeating that intention as you hold the awareness at the heart, knowing that that intention, it's real and that it's happening right here, right now. As you hold the attention at the heart, start to visualize, imagine your seed of intention in the very center of the heart. A golden white glowing seed, no bigger than a grain of rice. Start to visualize that golden white seed of your intention glowing at the very center of the heart. And then start to Allow that light to start to expand, expanding out beyond the heart throughout the entire body. Let that light start to shine through the entire being, body, mind, spirit. And as that golden white light of your intention expands and spreads throughout your entire being, Start to visualize that light of your intention starting to glow beyond the surface of your skin, glowing out into the world, expanding, glowing bigger and brighter, shining its golden white light on everything around it, illuminating. Golden white, lustrous light glowing brightly from the seed of your intention, spreading out into the world, sharing your light. And then start to allow that golden white light to move back in to your body, coming back into the body and moving back into the heart. Let that golden white light come back into that little golden seed at the very center of your heart. Bring the palms together in prayer. Let the thumbs rest at the breastbone. Again, the awareness at the heart. And visualizing that golden white seed of intention Visualize that little seed moving into that space between the palms. 
and allowing your seed to grow there and blossom open into a flower. Keeping the thumbs together and touching and keeping the pinkies together and touching. Start to part open the index fingers, part open the middle fingers, part open the ring fingers, and then start to spread the palms open into the shape of a flower. This is called Padma Mudra, the lotus, emerging from the depths of self and opening up its beautiful blossom brilliantly in the light of your soul. Smell the fragrant aroma of your intention, the flower of your intention. And start to gently bring the palms back together in prayer to the shape of a flower bud. And start to visualize that little golden seed once again in the space between your palms and let that golden seed move back into your heart and let it dissolve there and disperse throughout your entire being, knowing that that intention, that seed of intention is always with you. Gently bring the awareness back into the body reconnecting to the outside world and reconnecting to the physical self. Hear the sounds of the world around you and hear the sounds coming from within you. Invite a little movement. Notice the temperature of the room and textures on the skin. Softly blink open the eyes and just take in what you see. Swallow a few times, feel the watery sensation of the mouth and any flavors on the tongue. Deepen the breath and smell the aromas of the world around you. Mm. And we'll conclude our time together this morning with the sound of this mantra. If you're familiar with it, please join. If not, it's okay. We'll all start together with OM. Deep inhale. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 May all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may you contribute to the happiness and freedom of all. Peace, peace, eternal peace. Thank you all for joining me this morning. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I will be back on Monday. I'm taking tomorrow off to just rest in the morning and, and take it easy. So I'll see you all again on Monday. Om Shanti.